Hi guys, it's Ewan for Everything Paddle and this is light versus heavy paddle rackets. What should you choose for your game? Is it better to have a lighter racket or is it better to have a heavier racket? Right, so a really light racket is going to be about 330 to 350 grams. Um, this is the Nox Ultralights, this is about 330, 340 grams. Uh, the weight can depend on the amount of grips. A medium racket, like this metal bone, is about 360 to 365 grams. That's your average weight of a racket. And then something quite heavy is like this ball paddle vertex. This is about 370 to 375 grams. Right, so this is the Nox Ultralight. It's actually snowing on me right now. This is the Nox Ultralight, really, really light racket. Um, so we're gonna show some volleys with it. Initial thoughts is that it's going to have a really uh, fast swing, it's going to be feel really easy to use, it's going to be really easy to manoeuvre around the court and it's going to be feeling nice on my arm. So let's give it a go. Wow. Okay, initial thoughts is, in terms of power, I don't feel like I can get a lot. The ball doesn't come off the racket very, very quickly. Um, but I think that's also down to the material on this. This is fiberglass, not carbon. Um, but also it's very, very easy to use, but because of the weight, there's not a lot of force behind the shots that I'm hitting. Right, now I've got the Ball Paddle Vertex. It's actually a special edition one in stock and everything paddle. Um, this is a lot heavier. This is about 375 grams. And the balance of it is also head heavy. So there's even more weight at the top. So I should get way more power. Initially from feeling it, I can feel the weight difference. I'm gonna feel that this might be a bit hard on someone's arm if they're using this, but I'm gonna give it a go. Wow. Wow, so I feel way more force behind the ball, that's for sure. For me, it's like my, my personal game, I don't really like heavy rackets. I don't really like the comfort because it's not as manageable, but, the power and control you get from them is a lot better. And that's why the professional players at the World Paddle Tour will be using heavier rackets. They all use heavy rackets or at least averagely weighted rackets. They're not gonna use something super light just because you get more power and control. However, if you're a player that values a very important aspect of paddle, which is comfort and fun, and maybe you've got tennis elbow problems, then a lighter racket might be more suitable. Okay, finally, I've got the metal bone here. This is sort of average weight. The balance is head heavy, but overall the weight is, it, is about 365 grams. So let's see how this one does. Ah. My God, it's actually snowing on us. It's crazy. So for me, this is, this is perfect for me. It doesn't mean it's gonna be you know, best for everyone, but for me, I find like good manageability, feels nice in my hand, and I feel good force behind it. If you're a beginner player, I recommend you get something lighter, something that's gonna be easy to use, maybe something about 345 to 360. You could use something average weight as well, but then if you go more advanced and you're more of an advanced player and you're intermediate, that's when I say use something heavier you, and really test yourself with that. You can change the weight on rackets as well. So I'm not talking about the customizable weights on this metal bone. I'm saying in general, you can add grips. That will add, you know, three, four grams. You can have racket protectors. That will also add weights as well. Some players will add more grips to their racket to make it feel a little bit more handle heavy. If you're maybe a taller guy, a bigger guy with lots of experience in different racket sports, then I definitely recommend you go for a heavier racket because you can manage that and you can handle that. We're gonna do a little bit of defense now with a really, really light racket. Again, this might be good. Defending, you know, you need to be able to ha have fast swings, move the racket around quickly, and you don't need lots of power. So maybe this one will feel a bit better for that. Yeah, it's not bad for, um, in terms of like control, comfort, how it feels, I quite like it. It's very easy to maneuver, like I said before, and you don't need a lot of power defensively. So if you're a more defensive minded player, a lighter racket might be a, a good option as well. Right, let's try some defensive shots with the Vertex now. This one's about 370 grams and it is head heavy as well. So probably one of the heaviest rackets I've got in stock. Yeah. Ah, so this doesn't feel as comfortable on my arm, 
that's just me. I've been used to playing with lighter rackets. I think for someone maybe like that does a lot of coaching, lots of feeding, that's probably not the best idea because it's heavier. But for someone that wants power, control, and a lot of strength behind each ball, this is, this is great for that. So let's do a brief checklist of if you should use a lighter racket or a heavier racket. So this is all about you as a person, but also your style of play as well. Are you someone that's quite tall, quite strong, had lots of experience with racket sports, then heavier racket 100%. If you're someone that wants to have maybe a bit more comfort on court, have more fun, have something that's a lot easier to use, maybe something that's gonna be nicer on their arm for tennis elbow, then definitely go for a lighter racket. Also, what are, what are the shots you're playing? If you're someone that plays very defensive, you like to play slow shots with more precision, then a lighter racket would be better. But if you're someone that likes to play very aggressive with smashes, uh, more uh, faster volleys, viboras, bandekas, then go for a heavier racket. I just wanna clear up one myth though, that if you use a lighter racket, you will be able to get power but obviously it's just slightly easier with a heavier racket to do so. And the same with a heavy racket, it's not like it's gonna be killing your arm if you use it, but it's just gonna feel a bit more comfortable using a lighter racket. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you did enjoy it. I hope this was helpful for you. If you need help choosing a paddle racket, you can contact me at 0770404 We've got a WhatsApp button on the website to make it easier, or you can email me and you can just browse everything paddle. It's an online paddle store with loads of products from all of the top brands.